zen. I'm in a calm zen right now. Oh, is this is this is this how the famous lives? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I just you know, I'm just in a different headspace right now. So I just be trying to like you know, be zen as much as possible. Yeah. Man, this is a it's a new content piece I have. Um, I wanted to make it very personal, so I'm happy that um, I got somebody that I know pretty well. And I, like the whole basis of this that I wanted is to really dig into the what is the domino effect and the domino effect of life, the domino effect of your career, the domino effect of how how something so simplistic as you getting certain phone calls probably have changed your life, and you doing different things, the smallest things. And to kind of give the fans or the supporters or the people who are curious that little peek into kind of how the world go. But um, I guess we just start a little general first. How has how has life really been, man? You know, like how has it been for you? Let's say in the last year. It's a good question. I feel like I haven't been asked that in a while. <laughs> like this past year has probably been, you know. It was a good year, like 2018. It was. It had a lot of ups and downs in it. You know, it, it was. It was a roller coaster of life lessons, just as far as people, their intentions, just how cold some people really are. How when you have some sort of status to your face and your name, yeah. How just your value as a human, it yeah. kind of goes away. Like, people will expect way more from me just because I have a, a, a fame to my name than they would somebody who has 10 times more money than me with no fame. Huh. There could be a guy in the hood, and I know, I have a, a guy who I do know in the hood, this dude makes six figures a month, right? But nobody knows he's making six figures a month. He got a nice car, but He's still kind of under the radar. Yeah. This guy makes so much money. Legal? Legal. Okay. Because that yeah. makes a difference. Yeah. But you know what? I wouldn't even I wouldn't even say legal. I say legal and he definitely dibbling and dabbling in some other uwap. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then you got somebody like me that, you know, some people in the hood would be like, oh, okay, he on TV, he doing music, yeah. he fly, jewelry and all of that. Yo, he needs to give back to the hood. He should be doing more for the hood. Just because I got some sort of status. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then there's a person who don't got a, a status that's visible to y'all that y'all would never ever dare say, yo, why are you not giving back to us? Why are you not putting us on? Yeah. I, I lost at least 30 friends just off of them thinking that I should be putting them on or I should be doing things for them that... I'm still trying to do for myself. Unbelievable. Yo, will you take the AC off my phone? Now, I, um, unbelievable. Like, I just don't want it to hum. Yeah, personal. Um, wow. Is it, is it, do they really, I mean, I mean, this might be an ignorant thing. Do they really want bread? Or do you feel like they just want fame or clout? Yo, in this in this new era, it, it, it ain't even bread no more. Because yeah. do you know how much people will get mad at me just off of me not giving them acknowledgement on social media? As far as yo yo yo, like my post, put a one hundred emoji under my last post. Like yo, sometimes I don't want people to know I'm on social media. So I'm not going to get up in the morning and the first thing I go do is wake up and put a comment under your picture. Sometimes you wake up and then it's like you just want to get your daily routine going because once people start seeing you liking and you up and you active, oh, let me shoot them a text or let me see what's up or let me check. Nah, like sometimes I like to be, like, if I'm on it, people don't need to know what I'm doing. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, what, give me a definition. What is clout? 
I think everybody has like the their own unique. Yeah. What is clout to you? To me, clout. Clout or clout chasing? Let's talk about, we gotta first get clout to get okay. clout chasing. Clout is, clout is status. Cloud is fame. Cloud is, cloud is attention. Cloud is just anything that can bring some sort of, what's the word? Like some sort of um, higher fake echelon to what's in your daily life. Like that's clout. Yeah. Is it? But it's such a unique thing because clout's not tangible in any way. You can't put your hand on clout. You can't. So why would it be so valuable to where that we have clout chasers? So how would you define what? What's an example of clout chasing? Don't you don't got to tell me a person. Yeah. But give me an example of one of the last one of the last boldest times where someone was clout chasing you and you was like, "This is fucking sickening." You know what I mean? Like, um, damn. You know what? With me, it happens so much. I really. And I block it out so much that it's like, I forget about it as it's happening. Like, it don't stick with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, when people do, like, if you go to do something and you know you're about to do it and you want to, like, videotape it and make sure you have that to put out, that's cloud chasing. And you're doing that because you know that this situation will bring a whole lot of attention by dealing it with me or because you know that dealing with me in any type of public forum it will it could get you on a blog and people be really they be wanting to be on blogs and be wanting they, they just want that that notoriety from from a bunch of people that they don't know and that's the crazy part about it yeah they, they're fighting for it from people who you don't know that you'll probably never meet in your life yeah does it get to the point to where it becomes a gray area, I guess, when, uh, like, is it more of clout chasing when you're a normal person, or is it more of clout chasing if you are if you have a level of some form of fame? Because I think people look at um, any type of regular person, like, excitement, and then if it's anybody with any fame, then it's clout chasing. That's how I feel like things get categorized a lot like I don't feel like a regular person could be like yo you're cloud chasing because it's like I don't know it's such a unique thing maybe you see it totally different no I agree though it, it cloud chasing it wouldn't be the same if it's somebody that let's say I just let's just say it's two regular Joe Schmoes on the street yeah and then one punches another one in the face and then uploads the video <laughs> You're not cloud chasing, you're just showing two idiots fighting. Correct. Because you're not even going to know who it is. Correct. But then if it was to happen with somebody like me or anyone who's in the public eye, and they know, oh yeah, this is going to get me some media buzz, they're going to see me in the hood, they're going to be able to talk about it for a little while. That's, you know, not knowing that things only last for two, three days now online. <laughs> it really is, right? Three, four days the longest. Yeah. If you super, 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 super hot. And it's you, super controversial. Yeah. There yeah. gotta be some spice. You might you might you might get five days. You might you might get the week. Yeah. Maybe. Huh. So does it to go back to your earlier statement, does it then make it difficult to maintain in relationships if you've lost so many at the at the well motive? Yeah. It it just kinda makes you know or just have an eye for Seeing who's in it for what, or who need who needs certain things. Like, like I could just tell when somebody comes around if they're like, I right, if they got their own. It's like, I right, if you got your own and you come around, I respect that. But then if you coming around and then you you just you just always asking for something, or you just always got ideas that you're trying to like just do weird shit that I got to do with stuff that you're doing. Like I'm all about supporting and helping someone if they got an idea but sometimes it's like it, it, it's just stuff that their ideas consider yo bro yo yo we do this bro i get a pound and i'll i'll flip like bro I'm, i don't do drugs i'm on tv i do music like <laughs> i i don't know nothing about that world so like i, I don't understand like what do you want me to do 
In other words, you want me to give you money so you can buy drugs. You're, you're gonna. So this has happened to you. Oh, of course. Yeah. They they've come crazy. Real bo and you want to know what's so crazy? I'm gonna tell you a story. There's one time this dude, right? I didn't know what he did, but he looked like he was getting it or whatever. So one time he was like, yo, like, um, he was like, yo, you know what I do, right? I'm like, no. He was like, yeah, I just be flipping, boom, boom, whatever, whatever. I'm like, okay, that's what's up. He was like, yeah, bro, why you think I be moving like this? I'm like, okay. He was like, yeah, he was like, yo, if you ever want to, you know what I'm saying, put something up or flip or whatever, whatever. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. I get a little investment. I give him, I give him some bread. Bro, this dude, you know, they always want to tell you, yo, bro, I'll give you two weeks. Give me two weeks, bro, you double back and all this other whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it's drugs, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's drugs. T-shirts. Yeah, T-shirts. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. I do that. Bro, two weeks. I'm like, I knew it was going to be two weeks. I give him the month, give him the month. All right, cool. Then the same guy who was always trying to be around, just I don't hear or see from him no more. I'm like, damn, you 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 gonna burn a bridge with me for two racks? Like I'm 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 somebody that you being around, you could you could gain and just benefit and just meet the right people that you know better yourself. Correct. Right. You gonna burn a relationship with me for two racks? So I'm like, alright. Then when I finally hit him and I'm like, yo, bro, like I haven't heard from you. What's up? Yo, why you coming at me like that? What? Bro, I just said I haven't heard from you. Like, yo, what's up? You said this. It's not that. So what's going on? Yo, yeah, but you don't got to come at me like, oh, I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. I'm like, bro, it's all good. I said, it ain't an L for me. It's an L for you. Like, ain't no sort of my back. And yeah. It's just a lesson learned. Yeah. Uh, is it, do you feel like it's, um, and this is a unique question. I don't know if anybody's ever asked you. You're from Brooklyn. Mm. Does do you feel like any of this is because, you know, the the area is so like compact, where it's like it's just so difficult to wear. Like, damn, I think I grew up a block away from you. You know, in the country, people are so much farther apart. You don't feel the success of someone mm. in your town from miles away does something. But because we're in Brooklyn and because we're in the uh, such a high zone city. That everyone is like right up on you, so like you literally got a thousand niggas that are two years above, two years under your age. You get what I'm saying? That are like this should be me. Like, do you feel like the city aspect like intensifies it? Of course, because if they really know you or yeah. saw you or was around you in the hood at any time prior to this, it's like it hurts them a little more. It's gonna sting more because it's like. They're not going to be happy for you. They're going to feel like, damn, you know, we went to the same school. I was in the same area. Why he get to get this shine? Yeah. Like, oh, why? Like, it don't even be about money. They always say shine. Like, they ain't talking about nothing else. Like, yo. It really just is the thing. It's just, yo, and look, I'm in it because, like, <laughs> it's like I'm in it just by, from whatever my past was, I'm just happy to be in it. Now this is just how I got to be living my life. I wasn't always on something like, yo. I, I gotta figure out the way to be like, you know what I'm saying? But this kind of low key was before social media blew up too. But you know, I was driving trucks, yeah, garbage trucks and and, and and tractor trailers and all of that just to live, just to live. So yeah. then it's like now I'm I'm doing what I'm doing now because I'm on like brand now. I make money being me, like selling stuff that got to do with me or just being having my name a part of stuff. It makes me make money. So now I gotta use my face as a brand of income. Yeah. Understood. How does it feel that you've, I think that it's pretty sold at least for a couple of years now, where you're literally, you've conquered all of the doubt. Because a lot of people thought that you wouldn't be able to be here at this point. In any shape or form. Word. You get what I mean? Like, we spoke earlier today um, about how large your digital following is, mm -hmm. how big and how high your engagement is. Like, you've literally million. done this, huh? 50 million. 50 million impressions a week. I thought it was minimum, bullshit. And you showed me, like, yeah. that's a slow week. You get me like, that's, mm -hmm. that's not too bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? To think about, you know, even when you start thinking about what this means, mm -hmm. that 50 million people are watching you and glancing over you. You really think about it, bro. 
It's you're not gonna you're not gonna see fifty million people in your life. Nobody is. Well, they saw you. That's <laughs> crazy. And then that's coming to see you in a week. Yeah. Like when you really think about certain numbers, bro. That's like yeah. it's it's crazy. I was out with this guy today. Like it's a woman. <laughs> like your aunt, your grandmother, your neighbor. Yeah. Everybody knows you. That's a different level of fame too. Because it's not like. You know, I've been around rappers. You know, I've been around, like, the most litest rappers in the world. Mm -hmm. And it's very unique. You're not really going to get... Like, the intensity would be different, though. You get what I mean? Like, everybody's like, oh, my God, Safari. Some of my people, they would have ran, lost their mind. But you're literally getting the aunts like, oh, well, I'm so happy for you, young man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you have a girlfriend now. I'm proud of you. You know what I mean? Like, they're just... Yeah, yeah, like, you yeah. really are conquering, like, probably, like, 13 to, like, 70. No, like, no, but, it's but, fucking crazy. But you know why though? Because <laughs> no, nah, it was a little girl today in front of the restaurant. She was like eight. It was, that was, and she was like shaking. But <laughs> that was pretty. I'm, I feel like I'm very. I come across very personable. Yeah. So I agree. And I feel like with a lot of rappers, a lot of them don't come across personable. You know yeah. their music, but then they low key kind of hide their personality behind their music. Yeah. And you don't really know them as a person, and it's kind of like that block, that, that block. You know what I'm saying? And it makes them kind of not, not really know much about the person. And then even you know they hide behind their music, and even the music that they put out, it doesn't even reflect who they really are. So with a lot of these artists, you don't even be knowing who these who these people are. Like yeah. some of these people who really love these artists, yo, they don't be knowing some of these people. And there's some artists that. I've come across and I got to meet them and then I'm just like, yo, this dude is a weirdo. Yeah. Like, <laughs> bro, I don't want no parts of this. That's why even with my music, when people be talking about me doing features and this, that, and the third, and it ain't about nobody, oh, niggas don't want to work with me. Like, I'm not big on just trying to do something with someone because they're hot or whatever. Like, I don't care how hot you are. If we don't, gel on some like you see how we talking yeah if we can't just talk on some regular shit yeah it ain't gonna make sense for me so question i didn't hear that 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 rumor what's how what are people saying that you're what what features like you can't get them or you do nah you know just people some people be trying to say like oh like nobody want to do songs to him or, and, and shit like that and i'm just like uh -huh. my my lane too is just with people who who they be suggesting for me to do features with i'm like that shit don't make sense. That's not my lane. Yeah. I'm not trying to be in the strip club with my music. There was a time where I was doing all of these different songs and it was like I was low key trying to like find myself. But yeah. now like my lane, I need to talk to the women, the ladies. I want to, you see how Fab, Loon, mixed with like a LL Cool J. Mace. Mace. Yeah. When, when Nelly did that Dilemma song, with Kelly Rowland, Dilemma yeah. era. But in like a not super super hip hop world, but you know that borderline and then slash crossover international Caribbean slash Afro pop slash R and B singing on the hook. My verses about a relationship, talking to the ladies like my song can't lie and really make a girl feel like yo, I'm really talking to them in the song. Yeah. Girl music. Girl it's music. Not, you do pretty well with the with the women, man. I, you know, to to get specific with, I, to get specific with the domino effect and, mm -hmm. the, and the whole, the whole theory behind it. Do you feel that your relationships have really carved who you've become? Because you've had so many public. You mean with relationships? You mean, you mean the girls I've been with? Yeah. Do I feel like it's? I feel like because you've had a lot of public relationships. I yeah, like, I feel like every girl I've ever been with. That's been public and private. Yeah. It's just like them joints just be life lessons. Okay. It's like it 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 it, it just it taught me a lot, you know, like there there's situations, there's girls who I just felt like were like liabilities and I'm like, yo, damn. I don't know, like this is risky. And because I was in such a space where I ain't really have nobody around me. When I was living like on the West Coast, like my my 
my choices were I was I was I was slipping. Because I just was like, yo, bro, all I, all I was doing was going to the gym and then going to the crib and just brainstorming, writing, just doing shit like that. So I wasn't really going out of it, I wasn't really partying. So it was like the type of joints and the situations that I was putting myself in, it just was like, it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't good choices. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm glad I ain't like got no kids yeah. by accident or none of that because that could have, you know, that could have. That would alter your whole life. Yeah. Have you ever posted a girl and regretted it? Hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 low, I low key wish that nobody ever knew or saw anybody who I was ever with. Because there's some artists out there, yo, these dudes be. You already know, yo. Like they be having their joints. You don't see them with them. Yeah. You don't see them with them. You don't even know that they know each other. I remember this one time, this girl who I was talking to, and, and one time she just got like real comfortable and was able to tell me about some other, like, just some other whole nigga in their business. I'm like, I didn't ask. Like, I don't want to know, like, because, you know, that's none of my business. I don't even be sometimes when it comes to like other dudes, I don't even be wanting to know their they personal info and, and, and girls start talking and then be wanna flip the script and say I said something that I ain't say Understood. and then that be starting issues that ain't even there. Yeah. It's rough out here. It's rough. It was rough. Yeah. So see, because the, the difference of everything is that you post a girl. Today, you post Tiffany, Tanya, Kim, anything. Mm -hmm. And the next day, she's like 50,000 more followers. Yo, she's man. on 50 more blogs. And she's just booked 10 interviews. Yep, they want to end it, yeah. <laughs> like, it's a different game changer with you. That's, I, I've experienced that before. What was the... Is there one situation that was like the most... Altering for you, like I can't duplicate it again. Duplicate it as like, yo, no, I need to make sure I don't make that mistake again. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? Too real. Like, I feel like you. What's that movie where they put a chip in somebody's brain or whatever, and they like kind of erase their past and their history? I don't Was that know. Judgment Day. I don't know, but I've known mad movies like it. <laughs> no, I get you. You know, Men in Black do shit. Yeah, you know, uh, you Men in Black, know. yeah. No, they do the pen and they make you erase Yo, my, my ADD is so severe that when it comes to just like certain things, especially like if a few days go by and I don't think about it again, oh, you are totally, yeah, you're definitely forgotten. Totally, totally forgotten about forever in life. And I'm just... Focus on the prize at hand. Yeah. So it's just easy for you to just put old relationships in the past and just continue to move forward. Yo, like now, let me tell you, my, my new shit is like anything, anything prior to now, like just to make shit easier, it, it, it never happened. Yeah. <laughs> it never happened. Like, so you out here erasing bodies? Niggas want to be like, oh, want to ask about an ex or do them like, hey, I'm sorry, with all due respect, I really don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Like that's that that's that's it. Yeah. It's, there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know who, what, where, when, why. You, you, I think you have the wrong person. Crazy. That must be a little disheartening for some of your old girls. Some of them have been defined by you. <laughs> <laughs> they can get crazy. You know, it's just. <sighs> I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just glad, man. I'm glad I'm, I'm just glad. See, there's this unique thing. I mean, we've all heard it, you know. Oh, my past made me who I am. Because you've gotten to this point in life personally, you know, and I think that that's some of the dopest shit. I mean, and, and the most difficult shit probably for you is that your whole life is on television. Your whole life is on, is on front stage. It becomes so difficult. So now that you've gotten to the point to where you are in your present moment, 
I would imagine that these things have given you almost a less than a relationship almost. Oh, yeah. You feel me? Like, I feel like one of my exes taught me, yo, never to waste time. You get what I mean? Like, I feel like another one of my exes told me, like, yo, if they watch your money too much, don't share it. You get Like, I don't know. It's like I've learned staple things that have made me become who I am, you know what I mean? And, and alter kind of, you know, the man that any woman gets now. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And because your life is on front stage, I feel like people literally get to assume, like, oh, I know that now because of and they, Tanya, and they he's never going to, you get what I'm saying? And they don't know nothing. The stuff that people say to me sometimes when they see me. <laughs> like, like, what? Like, <laughs> like, like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, they'll, they'll come up to me and, and be bringing up situations from uh, 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 old show, old season, I'm like, yo, miss, you're like four seasons behind. That was very old. I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but... uh. So that's how you classify girls now? Like, yo, that's an old season? Yeah, that's like, listen, man, I don't know what season. <laughs> that's an old season. Please do not. And and another thing, too, I never really... Yeah, I was never in no real relationship. I was never in no real relationship on, um, on TV. What's real? See, then it starts getting, like... Subjective. What's so what's a real relationship then? <laughs> oh, yo, let me tell this you. This is a girl whose heart just dropped right now. You know that. Listen, a real relationship. This is this is like ether. I'm sorry. Like a real. You you're asking me what? Yeah, real what's a real? Re you said I wasn't in a real relationship. Yo, a real relationship is when it's like we locked in, we committed, we like we on the same time, we on the same hustle, we like trying to get it, we just. Focus on building each other up, and you know I've been in situations where like I we around each other, but it was it never got to that. It, it didn't get there. It was just like all right, the whole you all know the the find out if somebody's playing around phase. <laughs> it seems difficult to judge because you're on TV. I feel like some of these girls are literally just stay around just to be like I need more storyline. That has to add complexity to it. Like, I don't have to worry about any girl in my life to be like, yo, I need story time. I mean, storyline time. You get what I mean? Like, I don't... Yeah, but low-key, too, I kind of don't even give anybody that, that chance. I've never really given anyone that, that opportunity to feel like... Like, I, I have a real complex with being used. Especially, like, by, like, a woman who, like... like my super, super, super wall and guard, you know what I'm saying, prior to now was like up like, nah, ain't nobody about to use me, you ain't about to be showing off, saying I got you this, got you that, none of that. Like the, You're just not going back to that place. Yo, the, the wall of, what's that wall Trump's trying to build? The Mexico wall. Whatever Mexico. that wall, yeah. that, that wall is up. Wow. And it's just because you just don't want to duplicate any of that? Yeah, just, just, just off of, you know, learning off of mistakes from the past. Yeah. And then just, you know, when you out there and people think you got, you just got all a, a bunch of shit that they want. Yeah. It's like, you, you, you gotta feel like, what's your, what's your motive? Hmm. Like, you, you, you really, you really here because you, you, you like me, you, I, I look good or whatever, or like, what you really trying to get, you know what I'm saying? So Crazy. That has to be a paranoid feeling. <clears throat> it is. I remember one time, a long time ago, bro, this girl, like, I remember, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it was a thing of the past and it happened and went down. Like, the girl went and was trying, the girl went, she got pregnant and then tried to say the kid was mine, right? Okay. Bruh. It happened once, and I used a condom. All the way, like, I don't, there's a reason why I don't have any kids. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I, <laughs> like, I'm, so I'm like, hold on. It was somebody else who came and told me, and he was like, yo, son, so this, this, same boom. I was like, what? I'm like, bro, it's impossible. I was like, I, was, I said, I wasn't doing that, like that. I'm like, nah, you bugging. I'm like, I'm telling you up rip. I'm not, I'm not even entertaining that. You're out of your mind. This is a lot of years ago? 
This was, this was a minute ago. Nah, because it's interesting to watch how hard they go in reference to the cup. You get what I'm saying? I would imagine oh, that that would happen. Oh, it, it was it was definitely a time of clout. Like, it was a time where, you know what I'm saying? Where it was, I guess that's clout chasing. <laughs> yeah. At its finest. Man. Who made up this word clout? Like, clout? What? Yeah, like, I, I to my that. knowledge, I think it came around uh, the Chief Keith era. That's when a lot of people was like, I feel like it started clout. more recently, though. No, nah, it's been bubbling. Years. Yeah, I think it's more more like uh, like popularized. But a lot of shit been happening. It's just like now it's just everyone and their mother saying it. You know what I mean? Like you I, know, ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't say that. I, I don't like saying shit that everybody be saying. The clout shit, like to me, it's it's a, it's a unique thing. I don't really view a lot of th like you get what I'm, like my thing is like this, and this is how I look at a lot of it. In reference to clout, I don't pay it any attention. If if somebody got if someone got status, I fuck with them, I fuck with them. So no matter what it is, we're just lit niggas, and now we do something that's going to look like it's for clout. I don't pay any attention. The only thing that I sh like, I turn a head away from is if people are trying to beef for clout. You get what I mean? Like, other than that, then I know that you're a hater. You have hater intentions. But if you're an opportunist, because I think that's the other side of it, you know, just trying to be, I just identify it, and I take it for what it is, and I, and I weigh my options. Sometimes I'll help an opportunist, sometimes, uh, opportunist, sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll be like, I know that you're here for the opportunity, but you know what? Maybe it's some form of a trade. Because not every bit of clout is always uneven. You get what I'm saying? There's some times where it's like, yo, I'm helping you do this and you're helping me do that. And I think that in the business that we're in, of media, music, hip-hop, whatever the fuck you want to call it, mm -hmm. we have to trade clout on many different levels. You get what I'm saying? So I know some niggas that hit me when they're in the city be like, yo, Punch, what's up? Where you at? Yo, we outside? I know what that is. Yo, Punch, can I move around the town? Can you bring some of the lokes out? Can you bring some of the guys out? Can you bring the bloods out? Can you make me feel comfortable? I know what that is. You get what I'm saying? And a lot of times, I just kind of curve it because it's like, nigga, I don't want to, nigga, I don't like going outside and bringing my guys out because if I go out on certain times for the regular and I got guys with me, no matter what it is, I got my guys in danger because they're going to jump out the window on courtesy of me. So every time I go out, if it's not necessity, I don't like it because I'm literally putting my friends, whether they the savages or my regular friends, at danger. My regular friends is in danger because if someone does something, my regular friend is going to still be like, I'm a whole man first. I got to hold it down. I know you understand this. When you go out, it's double the issue. You get what I'm saying? Because you double and triple is popular. You get what I'm saying? So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough situation to be in at times. When you have clout, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a tough thing to be on. So I just look at it like, we got to trade it. And as long as a nigga's not coming from hate, like on some, yo, fuck Safari. And then, like, that's where I'll be like, don't give that no clout. But if a nigga's doing his thing, let him do his thing. Help it, move it. Because you got to always remember, this is a life where we don't know where those ladders are going to move. We don't know, That's why you get what I mean? You don't know if this guy John, who's like cool right now, mm -hmm. doesn't become Jay-Z in two years. Well, y'all get what I'm saying, because I know that they, you know, they pick on it. But you get what I mean, where he doesn't become something huge and now. That's why, too. They it's, remember. It's, <laughs> there's, there's times where I see like certain dudes on the internet who like talk about me or be saying stuff and... Some people be like, yo, why you don't say nothing back or whatever, whatever. And then I'd be like, yo, this nigga's not on my level. Yeah. I'm I'm not about to be in the headlines arguing with a nobody. Then it's looking like you are my status when they put our names in the headlines and have my picture next to your picture. That ain't going to do nothing for me. Yeah. That's going to give you a little bit of edge. Yeah, a little bit of edge. You'll get some extra clicks. People look you up, see what you're talking about. That's why I be like with certain people, I'm like, yo, like, nah, I'm not acknowledging them. I'm like, yo, like, it's, it's going to fade away. Yeah. And if she said some real shit, he was like, when niggas do their goofy shit, it's, it, it's going to fade. He was like, it ain't never going to stick around. It ain't never going to last. Like, the real shit going, the real shit is what lasts. That's why up to this day, you keep on seeing videos of Tupac saying the shit that he was saying 20 years ago. Yeah. Because that was the real, real shit. Yeah. Niggas who doing clown shit, they're going to talk about it for maybe the, first, the day or two it was said. Yeah. But then after that, you ain't never going to hear about it ever again. It ain't nothing to talk about. It shit ain't an impact. 
you know, you brought up a point that, you know, I just want to tap. Where people are just attacking you. How does this feel on a day to day if you get up and people are like attacking you? And you don't, some you don't know, some you do know. No, How does it, like, I'm not, it makes me feel like the man. Because <laughs> I just be like, yo, I must be really like lit. I must really be like of some sort of status that these people feel like, yo. And me trying to do something against with him or add his name in this issue I got whatever it'll you know it, it it could give me some sort of sort of notoriety or whatever and it just it just made me feel like yo like you you may not like me you're a hater or whatever but at the same time you you know what it is that's why you're trying to do that yeah and, and that's why with certain people it's like I'm, I don't even pay him no mind and I don't I, I don't respect that when niggas be want to talk about real nigga this real nigga that bro these some these same niggas teaming real niggas bro. Are the corniest dick riding niggas, bro. Yeah. Like me, nigga. You know why two niggas be hating on me? Cause I'm be trying to be with everybody. You, bro. How often you see me in pictures with like a whole bunch of other niggas, bro? I don't be doing that. Like I don't like all these different niggas. I don't want to be cool with a bunch of niggas if we ain't really on that type of time. Just because, yo. You know what? Me being in a picture with this nigga, that shit's gonna make me look lit. Let me do it. Nah, that's not real. Yeah. I'd rather not. I get it. Um, I, 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 it's a unique thing. You know, I, I hate to ask, but out of curiosity, when you're, like, doing the reality shit and you're under pressure mm -hmm. of all the cameras, everything you do, sometimes I've seen cameras turn on people when they're, like, shocked. They're hearing shit for the first time, and it's like, yeah. yo, you seen them look scared? And it's kind of like, no, nigga, I didn't know. That this nigga felt this way. Does it frustrate you? Like, I guess because the Joey shit to me, it looked weird. Because I thought that y'all niggas was friends. Mm -hmm. I'm an avid listener to the podcast. Mm -hmm. Joey's called you on the podcast. What's up? Y'all have spoke. Does it become weird to you where y'all temperature just went from zero to like a hundred on the camp? Like, Of, of course, it's, it's very weird because you got to think about it. Imagine me and you, right? Like, yeah. we cool. Me and you been cool. And then when we go to do something on that type of a platform, all of a sudden it's going to be like, Punch going to be talking about you got an issue with me now and you got all this like just extra shit to say for no ass reason. I'm going to be like, son, how come all of a sudden now now, now it's an issue? Like, I, I, I don't, that don't make no sense to me. Yeah. Like, you know, but, you know, when, j just like I'm saying with me, I don't care what nobody say, whether niggas want to admit it or not. Like, you, you, when you beef with certain people, whether niggas want to say, oh, corny this, yeah, all right, nigga, niggas know. My name, bro, my name, it, 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 it sticks. It sticks in the media. That's why these niggas be looking for and fishing for shit. And, and, and low key, I've been kind of like just, you know, just on my grind shit, working, been doing my shows in Jamaica, traveling, been with my woman, and dropping music that everybody's fucking with right now, and it's like I've been focusing on that. But it was like before, it just was always, it just was always something new popping up that just was always kind of taking niggas' attention off of what, you know what I'm saying? What I wanted to be on, and that's what like for the past few, like, this is the longest my name ain't been in no bullshit in the media, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because now I'm just on some like, yo, bro, uh, nigga, I'm a national figure. No matter how anybody want to say this shit or not or, or agree with it or not, I go places, everyone, nigga, everyone knows who I am. I, I need to be smarter where I go. Mm -hmm. I need to, I can't just get up and say, I'm going to go here, nigga, no. I need to <laughs> have spoke a car. About it you was <laughs> like, it's the weirdest shit just to be able to walk. <laughs> just simple shit. Yeah, but it's like, yo, you kind of got to be extra and take these extra precautions because niggas out there are cloud chasing. Niggas out there is hungry. And, yo, I'm not, I'm telling you, I'm not trying to give nobody no opportunity to one-up on me. And I don't even want to be in that situation because, God forbid, yo, I'm telling you, bro, like, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm blacking and I ain't trying to even go there because I'm... I'm on a mission, and I don't need nothing to fuck that shit up right now. I get you. So, a, a lot of times, even, you know, today, now, you've accredited a lot to your newfound reality. Mm -hmm. uh, Erica Mena. Mm -hmm. 
like, I thought you was just gonna be a gallus forever, man. You know what I mean? Like, what's, like, what, what, like, why go out here and do this, man? You know, um, you know what? When, he said, "Dead gallus forever" sounded good. <laughs> when, when, when the time, when the timing is right, or like, when that op opportunity hits you, that's not something you can be on. You, you, you plan. Like, I didn't plan none of this. <clears throat> like. It's, it's, it's like a real feeling. Bro, last year, I'm not going to lie, last year I was on some like, yo, I'm about to really just be a gallus for like a very long time. And I'm, it looked really, like it. I, I'm not about to be settling down. It ain't about to be nothing. I'm like, yo, I'm just, I'm like, all these girls is just like. It looked like you was about to drop your porn. You started wailing. Yeah, like, I was like, what is my nigga doing out here? <laughs> like, what's going it. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? But you it kinda had me all over the place and I, I low key didn't have structure. It kinda messes up messes with your structure. Cause it's just it's just way too many different personalities to deal with, text, spend yeah, time just with, with the multiple yeah. it's, it's 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 a lot. And it, 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 it just, yo, it's those good, it's good morning, time. good morning, good morning, good morning, oh, good morning. Oh, man. That's yo, time consuming. That's a real thing. Hey, what's up? Thinking about you. Oh, thinking about you. Oh, thinking about you, too. Thinking about you. Thinking about you. You miss me? Miss me? Yeah, it'll be like that. Nah, geez. That's a lot of work. And <laughs> I'm just like, yo, for me to focus on what I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to do with, with my music and just me as an entertainer, like, I, I need that foundation. And you know what I noticed with a lot of people who are successful? Bro, they got that foundation. They got that backbone. They got that spine. And you want to know what's so crazy? As, as soon as me and her, like, got together and got serious, I just, like, things just started coming into play, just coming into place. Even with me dropping this song, No Regular Girl, and getting the the reaction with the, the, the million streams, in a few days just dropping it and, and number two on iTunes and it's like that's that comes from structure now I got one person that okay boom when I went away to go work on my music I'm just dealing with and talking to one person and yeah, yeah. she's like okay you good you come back with a smash like little shit like that it make a nigga feel good and that shit motivated me she was like yo come back with a smash Bro, I came back from no regular girl. Like, that shit is a smash record, bro. And she, she, you know, she, she was pushing me. Even because before I was like just on some, just eating in the crib, working out, just was like, just brainstorming, not really too, too much in the studio. And then she just was like, yeah, I think you need to, you know, go to where you're comfortable at, and, you know, lock in and do some music. Crazy. And I flew to LA. She was right. I flew to LA. That's when my nigga Travis Crates. I was working with him and we locked in. Bro, and I did so much record and it was just so much heat. Like in like one week. Crazy. Yeah. And then the record comes. Then I dropped the record and the feedback is amazing. The people and I'm seeing like Instagram story reposting all that from people. Bro, Netherlands, Australia, Africa, Gambia, Ghana, like places that I ain't, I ain't been to these places yet. Yeah. But these people are streaming my song. They they the the, the analytics of where the video was streaming and all of that. There's places that I ain't been, but you know, it's doing what it's supposed to do, and it's coming from structure. Yeah. I, I ask a simplistic question, but it probably has such a complex answer. What makes her so different that that was the girl yeah, that designed that it? Nah, cause you know what. Me and her was friends before everything. Just on some talking reckless, talking about bitches. She talking about the shit she going through and all of that. And you know, <laughs> and it just was a, a, a situation that was there. We just was always cool. But you know what, I was feeling her so much that I never thought she would give me a chance. So it was just like, ah, right, we just gonna be cool. Cause she ain't gonna give me no play. So you know what I'm saying? And then when I felt like her guard was coming down a little bit and she started giving me a little play, I'm like, damn, this shit feel really <laughs> different. 
really, really different. Like that first time I was like really alone with her and it felt like, yo, like I think something might go down. Yeah. Bro, that was I didn't feel like that in probably since like I was a sixteen year old kid in <laughs> in in fifth grade. Mom coming home late. <laughs> Word. But I, I didn't leave the fifth grade till I was like 15, so it just was like a crazy feeling. And I just was like, damn. Like when I when I left her, like the imprint she had on me, I just was like, yo. Like that shit just had me gazing into space, just thinking about mad shit. Like, yo, damn, geez. What the hell? Yeah. And I ain't never had that with like, you know what I'm saying, nobody else before. So I'm just like, nah, I need to um, visit this and see what's up. Then she can cook her ass off. Bro, she could cook everything under the sun. This girl has never made me the same dish twice unless I ask for it. Like, she's like a real, like, mother, wife, like, um, an amazing woman. And I, ain't, I haven't felt that in... Like low key in my entire life, like I've, ne I've in my entire life, I've never had a woman who, who like makes me feel like how she makes me feel, like she she makes me she's like, you're 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 the man, like I'm gonna follow your your, your lead. And I'm like what, bro? Girls in this day and age, all these girls wanna be the man. They oh I'm I'm making my own money too, so ain't no nigga gonna tell me what to do and all of that. A lot of these women, bro, women don't, they don't let men be men anymore. But then at the same time, the girls are going to say, well, show us a real man and then we'll act like a woman. So, take it. Yeah, sorry. No, that's unbelievable. It feels good. Like, I'll be honest. You know what I'm saying? If she watches it, your spirit lights up for it. <laughs> no, I think that is good because I think energy-wise, I've known you for a while, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I've literally known you for years and I've watched you perform. We're in there when I'm. I remember when you was just like, "Yo, bro, you really fucking with me." I said, "Yo, bro, you're a genuine nigga. Why wouldn't I?" Mm -hmm. And I think that was at a stage where a lot of niggas was like, "Safari, don't touch him." Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? And mm -hmm. I, you know what I mean? It was just like, "Don't fuck with this nigga. He's not lit." Hey, nice nigga. You know what I mean? A lot of niggas really hate yo, you. Yo, bro. Yo, like the way the niggas hate you, I think you bro. fuck like everybody, girlfriend. Yo, but that niggas really yo, hate son. this nigga. Yo, bro. Yo, son. you really are. At, you're not like a, I'm a slap niggas. You're not a uh, kick up dust, aggressive gang nigga. You're really just like, yo, I'm a cool guy. You know what I mean? I like yeah. girls. I'm trying to get my rap shit moving. <laughs> you know, yeah. I grew up Jamaican. I dance. Word. Like, I think you're a regular, like, but niggas hate you, bro. And it'd be like, nigga, we ain't even in the same lane. I don't be understanding yo, some of you niggas. You know what it is, too? I remember one time. <laughs> I remember I, I remember this one nigga, son. Like, this nigga, too. He a rapper too. This nigga, he this nigga thought he was lit. He was at some spot or whatever. Nigga, when I when I walked in, and that energy shifted how it did when I walked in, bro. And not even on no cocky shit, bro. Like they was they was tripping when they seen me. Like Crazy. and 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 I, I I seen I seen the like the puppy dog sat in his face like, damn, why they not paying me no attention, punch? Crazy. I didn't want pictures with me. And bro, I don't even bro, I don't even go out for that. I don't even like going out. Like I, I go out when I have to go out and do what I have to do, yeah. if it makes sense. But I ain't just gonna be going out and going everywhere under the sun and it's like like some niggas who wanna be seen. Yeah. I go to be seen when I, I need to and it's it's a financial game. I think. As a as as an artist, I would think that people would be less threatened by you. You get what I mean? Uh, Cause in reality, yeah, they know my potential. That's why. But I think in reality, and, and I don't fuck with niggas too. Like I don't want to be fake friends, fake industry, like cool with these niggas. And these niggas be seeing that shit. Like, bro, if we cool and you cool, then it's like, what's up? It's all love. But I'm not gonna be doing all that fake extra shit. Like you know what? I I don't respect niggas who who only like cordial, only respectful to like other like celebrities and shit. Yeah, we spoke about that. Like. Bro, me, let me tell you something. When I go places, nigga, I'm, I'm like on the Obama. I'm saying what's up to the janitor. I'm saying what's up to the cook. I'm hollering at everybody. There be some niggas, bro, and I be seeing how they be treating people. And I'm like, yo, you're an asshole, and this shit ain't going to last. And it's like, they'll shit on everybody else. 
But then they'll see like that other celebrity or whatever. Yo, boo. All that dick riding shit. That shit is disgusting. <laughs> that shit is disgusting. You niggas. Like that. It's weird. It should be a shit. It's weird to me when I see certain, you know, and I think we all can get lost in it at times to where you almost only respond to the hate sometimes in your comment section. I try my best to like that, but some of you niggas are so much haters. But it just blows my mind that a nigga, a real life famous nigga, a whole thousand comment every post nigga, can literally ignore a thousand comments, but then uh, blue face posts, I see you loke, you get what I mean? Like it's like, damn, a nigga, not, not one of them thousand niggas deserve anything. <laughs> like not even a double tap I see, that. I see you, you get what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's. It's everything, or you know, it's the wave. It's, it's you know, it's the wave right now. Disgusting. Let me tell you, it's the wave. What? Jumping in shade room posts, like if shade room posts is celebrity frenzy, because they're just like, if I comment over here, everyone's gonna look. There's certain celebrities that I see in every single shade room, ball alert, yeah. Hollywood a lot, or I mean, every single one of these shits. But they ain't nobody comments regularly. But they in the shade room, putting in a little funny joke. You know what I mean? Uh, don't tag me. That's like, please pay me attention. Exactly. Don't at me means please talk to me. Like, Bro, I don't, I don't, I see. I don't do that. Man. I don't do that. I holla at my so I'm not going to see you in the shade room comments later? Nah, nah, arguing? Nah, what? I'm not going to see you. Yo, bro. She shade, body distressed, bro. Stop fronting. Shade room, will post, <laughs> shade room will post me and I don't, I don't say nothing in there. Like at the pe I holler at the people. If you look at my comments, you see me reply and say what's up to the people or whatever. And they be really like, they feel appreciated. They're like, damn, yo, you actually responded? Yeah. And then it's like, so you know, that's why niggas, niggas be talking about respect the real and all this, this real nigga shit. And I guess to some niggas, real niggas is niggas who act like they don't got common sense to do dumb shit. To, to, to get in trouble or fake gangster shit. Lie and tell fake gangster stories and all of this dumb shit. I get that's the real nigga shit. But then a, a, a real niggas niggas who just staying in their lane, bro. I stay in my lane. Yeah, I that I agree with. I think that's the most. I feel like that simplistically. You know, I get attacked because I just feel like if you do something and you are and you say you something, I expect you to be that. The fact that you be like, yo, punch. I'm on my my regular shit. Be on your regular shit. Then I know what I'm expecting from it. You get what I'm saying? I want to ask this. Um, I want to ask this question. Mm. You grew up Jamaican. You grew up super, super like Caribbean infused. Mm. Um, how does it feel to get the type of cosign in your home the way that you do? Out of everything, I ain't gonna lie. Out of everything that I've gained with this, you know what I'm saying, but it just comes with everything I'm doing. That's probably the best part of it. Like hmm. the 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 love, the recognition that I get from from just Jamaica, Jamaicans and the the, the people who you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the other day I had a booking in Canada. <clears throat> this dude he came up to me, yo, he was like, Yo, he said, I'm gonna tell you something. He said, I, he said, I came here just to tell you this. He was like, Yo, you're 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 a treasure. He was like, Yo, you're like a real treasure to it. He was like, Yo, you are representing, you are like you putting Jamaicans, the word Jamaica, the culture. He was like, no matter what anybody say, he said, you are really, you push the brand, you push the culture, you show the artists, you you taking pictures with the artists, you 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 show you show you're, you're dancing to the music, and I was with um Bounty Killer in Jamaica. Even Bounty said to me, it's like, it's a big star, bro. Like. <laughs> That's like, if you have no idea, that's like, yeah, I was showing my whole yesterday. <laughs> I just, <laughs> yo, like, with Bounty Killer, like, when I go to Jamaica, like, as soon as I land, I gotta say, yo, Killer, we reach. Big you know what I'm saying? We link, boom, we party. Went to, um, wet Sundays and, um, Bounty Sundays, you know what I'm saying? And he's just like, yo, like, when I'm in Jamaica, like, the whole Caribbean, Jamaicans, all the other, I like everybody, they're, they're like watching. Like my impressions when I go to Jamaica are almost double. It's crazy. I, I wish I screenshotted my last one. It's, it's crazy. It's like people who aren't there, it's like they watch it and it's like they want to go to places that I'm at in Jamaica just off of me posting it. 
And they're like, yo, when Safari goes to Jamaica, that shit looks inc incredible. They're like, I want to go to this place. And the last hotel I stayed at, the dude was like, yo, when I posted them up, <coughs> he said the hotel got booked out in a week. Brand new hotel. The hotel didn't even finish building yet. Can I get like a room in? Do you, do, is bro, your you, level at this level? My bro, man? my comp level? This is what I like to hear. Bro, when I go to Jamaica, son. At least this interview got me something. Bro, so, I, I'm, this one. You know what we gotta do? Well, I know. Oh yeah, yeah. I know you stamped up on the passport. Big stamps. What you doing Memorial Day? Big fucking stamp, nigga. I'm what you doing? That's what I'm doing. All right. Memorial Big fucking stamps on my passport. All right, well, all right. Memorial Day weekend. I'm booked in Jamaica. Yo, this is something called Mocha Fest. Oh my god. Um, you know what? Too. I'm no. Booked. Tell me. I'm booked for. Um, this is this is good. They didn't announce it yet, though. But um, Dream Weekend. That's like the. That's like the. Biggest party, yeah, not even weekend, dream week. It's like the biggest party time it's in crazy. the world. It's like it's like six days, nineteen parties in Jamaica. Talk to me. Where we I'm, going with I'm this? bro. I'm booked for it. I'm 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 going to wild up that entire week. I'm taking over that whole. I'm I'm, I'm documenting it. That shit is going to be a movie. And this is my first time doing it. Like I, I performed at Sunfest last year, year before. Fine, Sunfest, fine. Before, I did yeah. Sunfest before too. I performed at Sunfest with Bounty Killer. Then I performed at Sunfest with Ding Dong. I didn't do either of those. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but then, so usually the little, the, the the mishap was always the timing of them. I would always have to do one because I'd always be booked the next week. So I was always picking Sunfest because I get to perform in front of fifty thousand people. So I'm like, I right, boom, do that. But this year. I'm doing dream. It's crazy. Dream you said all of this and you somehow incorporated me and then I stopped being incorporated in the show. <laughs> nah. So I don't know yo, what happened. Bro, we I just needed you to bring need, it back. You need to be there. Okay. You need to be there. I don't know if it's gonna be Mocha Press or Dream, but you need to be at one of them, bro. It's gonna change it's gonna change your life and just the way you look at partying. That's another thing. When you party in Jamaica, you're gonna look at partying in America and you're gonna be like, oh my god, bro, this is so unfair. Yeah, it's a big That's joke. I don't know. I, I see how you give it up. We had fun at your birthday party last year. Where was that at? That was in. Three yeah, yeah, and that was. The surprise. That, yeah, the surprise birthday party. Oh, intimate. That's good. Right, yeah, and that was that was like a light little, light Jamaican, you know what the I'm saying? The volume comes on, you act up. Yeah, but nigga, imagine that times 100 in Jamaica with. Everybody who's in the party. Who invented the volume. <laughs> exactly. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 War 21. I be with them too. That's pretty crazy. Shout out Suku, Rumblood, Mean Dog, all of them. This is crazy shit. I hope that they really understand. Like if they don't understand, it's like, I don't know. Like what is like, it's like, yeah, I was showing my outcast. You get what I'm saying? Like an original group that was just there. I can't, you get what I mean? Like, oh, I'm, I'm telling crazy. you, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing until I take this shit to the maximum, maximum, okay, damn, so this is what the, this is what the Jamaican yeah. vibe is doing in Canada, yeah. that's why I'm making my, even my lane of music, like with my feature with No Regular Girl with Jamil, yeah. Jamil, and Jamil's voice is fine. insane, I fuck with live, no music, no nothing, his voice is sick, I'm like, yo, and I'm the one who reached out to him. He's fine. I reached out to him and I was like, yo, you have a female following? I have a female following? I said, we need to do a song for the ladies that could be, you know what I'm saying, crossover, you know what I'm saying, not super, super dance hall. I'm like, yo, we, we, we need to do this. Yo, he, he sent me that song, I think maybe the first or second week of March. And then I'm like, yo, we need to shoot this video right now. And that was the week before the Buju concert. We did it. Yeah, we did the song the week before the Buju concert, and then we went to Jamaica the week of the Buju concert, and I shot the video the next week. That's fire. And then put it out the end of that week. I fuck with Jamaica. He gave me dub plate. Shout out to Ronnie. What dub plate you got from him? I got big fucking dub plates. What are we talking about? <laughs> big fucking dance on dub plates. <laughs> no, I only got two. That's the. That's I'm a, the but I'm an American nigga with dub plates. No, that's big. You get what I'm saying? That's that's just me. I just want fun, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, my whole thing is I respect the culture a lot and I respect what you're doing. I think you are, like, the identity 
if there was like, what is a Jamaican American? You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think you are the identity of it at all. Like niggas will probably appreciate that. I don't even care what niggas say. They can't. Who, but I who, believe who, that you are who full else, of Who else could they say is doing it and uplifting it and pushing it up? Yeah. Like, I, everything I do, there's I'm There's probably like, tons of successful Jamaican Americans, but I don't believe on a yeah. public stance. You, your public, your platform is just bigger than niggas. You get what I mean? Yeah. There's mad people that do dope shit from Yard that come to America, but they're more like Jamaicans who are in America. You are a Jamaican American. You get what I mean? Like yeah, you yeah. grew up like this, but you still hold on to it. You still grab onto the roots. You still push the shit. You're still going crazy every time you get up. You remind niggas that you could go back to Flex in Brooklyn tomorrow if everything <laughs> else failed. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> if it all failed tomorrow. You hey, right, right there, launch Flex look, right, No, right there, you need to put like a little a clip of Flex no, of the days? Of clip. But one of them days, right there. big shirts? Hell yeah, the crazy. iceberg button up. They used to have the hat right there with the baseball That's the good the moves. Uh, yeah. I get it. But, you know, like, I got, I got a lot of love for you, bro, and it's a unique thing. I don't really consider it too much an interview. I just kind of pick your brain. I know a lot of the, a lot of the moments. I just like to... Talk to my friends. I, I consider you one of my friends. Um, we just we just documented a conversation. This ain't no interview. Yeah, I mean you're in a therapy chair, by the way. So yeah, this, this is the, this is the this therapy. is this mad chairs over there, and he decided to go. You know, I'm gonna talk to the doctor today. Yeah. And it's lit. At the end of the day, like, but it's good. It's moments you you spoke on a lot. I think that we tapped on a lot. And another thing too, if I know my fans realize I don't I don't really I'm not really too big on the interviews no more too like that. I ain't, I haven't done an interview. I can't even remember the last interview I did, real talk. This year, this year I haven't done no interviews. It's crazy. Last year, I can't remember. When the last time we did an interview, we ended up on Wendy Williams. That's a big right. fact. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, a big yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah. You know, last time I was on Wendy Williams, check me out. I think if I hate when I'm doing shit like this, I don't really care. Oh, niggas hate. I was on TV. My mom hate. said, hey, boy, I didn't see you at Safari on Wendy. <laughs> I said, yes, mom. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's like, Lord, that's the, that's the culture. That's bringing shit. the culture of we did national, it. national. We did cool shit. Na come on, it was at the top one or top second daytime talk show, morning talk show. Yeah, I don't like, know what it is. Let's bring it somewhere. It's it's up there. Though. It's somewhere. All right, motherfuckers. And that's what I'm talking about with clout. You see, my name my, uh, is affiliated with something, and guess what? It could end up being news on Wendy Williams. Entertainment yeah, tonight. he got me on Wendy Williams. Like shout so, to Mr. Samuels. Niggas, we want to act. Yeah, I, I know. I know, what I, I know what I bring to situations. Yeah, so that's why I'm just on some like you know what I'm saying. But it's dope. I appreciate that you do it. But I just think that it's it's from years of just doing mad shit. It's from years of support. It, it's yeah, um, it's, I, bro. Without it being not it always was like I said, it wasn't always cool to do it. But I just mm -hmm. continue to support because I just believe that. No matter what went on, bro, that you were just who you are. And I love it. And you're a Brooklyn nigga. At the end of the day, exactly. a lot of, a lot of, you from Flatbush, all of it. Even when they were saying Safari not cool, Safari was in the town in Canarsie, man. Outside. What you talking about? I just had fun with it. I like it. I like my job. He I, loves the shits. I love, I love my job. We get to chill. Today, I had Safari new music today. Y'all niggas ain't here. I get to hear new records. I know which songs he got features on. I get to know everything. Yeah, punch I go to Erica met a wedding date. No, I'm just fucking right. <laughs> they, they're like, oh shit. Well, let me show you. Too. Let me show you. Um, are we looking at the um, looking at our wedding bands and shit. Look at that. That's big fucking ice. That's a big diamond. So, can, are, can you send me this picture so I can add in when they get to see the, the big fucking diamond? Because that's a big fucking diamond. Yeah. So this Yikes. Like all the way around and shit. Like, you talking about this on your vlog? Cause you a YouTube guy now. Oh yeah, I forgot about oh, that. Oh yeah, you forgot about a couple million. I ain't know. I ain't know about. Sometimes I'm doing so much shit that that I don't even be remembering. It. I don't know. It could be bad. It could be good. I don't know. Like nigga, I'm about to start selling waist trainers. Ladies, for, that's oh, for I thought it was for you. Nah, I'm saying it's gonna be a unisex. I'm doing waist trainers. I know I'm gonna fit. I'm doing anything. Wait, hold on. Right. Not waist trainers. The joints that like when you um when you work out and you sweat. Alright. It's like a sweatband waist trainer. But it ain't no oh. it ain't like a oh punch you trying to get your figure back. You Yo, son, like don't that's, talk to me like this. That's, that's, that's not Don't talk to me like this. Yo, 
Listen, so far as getting out of control, I'm not putting on the waist train, okay? Yo, that's that's what I'm saying. I don't mean like that. I mean like, you know, that you work out, you want to get right, boom, 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 and that's it. Look, listen, you're a muscle man already. We're going to do it. Everybody fuck with the Safari Get Fit plan. Everything is lit. Mm -hmm. It must be nice. You're saving money. You don't got to pay video girls no more. You bring your wife up. Uh, you get to thank save you. bread. Thank you, baby. Yeah, I, and I got out of retirement for that. You Yo, know, listen. That was, that was epic. Eric, you better hit him with, a, with, a, with an invoice. Don't just do this shit she, for free. She, listen, she said to me, she said, yo, this man worked, cause that was a four-day video shoot. She said, this man worked me like a slave. She said, yo, I'm, I'm charging him. She was like, I'm charging him for the next one. Yo, this is crazy. Listen, send an invoice from now. That shit did a million. You better, look, look, look. That shit did a million. You better, imagine if she charged her view. Ooh, damn. That's the whole ring. This, yeah. this is what it is. But I love it. You already know what it is. The boy Punch. My brother Safari, and we all saw it, man. Safari you know, Domino Effect, all that good shit. Bow, bow, bow. It's true.